Okay, I think we are live. Jess, can you just check that out for me, please? We're live. Live, live? I think we're going to have to log into my account on here. Dude, what are you doing? It's not... Alright, just bear with me. And we can hopefully... There we go. Okay. All right. So sorry about the reflection that you can see, I think around here somewhere, but we'll cover that up shortly with my art journal. Um, all right, just gonna give it a moment to wait to see if a couple of people join in and see if I can see. Now, Jessica, how do we work out? Oh, here's the comments. Mm, that's off. Comments I off, comments on. All right. Is anyone, Tanya and Gail are watching. Hey ladies, how are you going? Hope everybody's staying safe. Um, whole lot of fun, hey. Um, so Jessica is here giving me a hand. Jessica is um, doing year 11 at CB High and she's currently at home with me, self-isolating. Um, so I'm just going to talk all the way through this and hopefully Jess can answer some comments, if there's any comments. Um, now, can anyone hear me at all? Who's watching? Can, if, you, um, if you can hear me and there's good sound, can you just hit the like button or the happy button or the something? Um, hey Ruth, how are you going darling? And Diane, there's a few people there, fantastic. Um, yes, somebody can hear me? Yay, excellent. You are sideways. Oh, Christ, of course I am. All right, hang on. Let's just try this. This is either gonna go really bad. It's just gonna adjust your field of view. Or hang nothing's on. gonna happen hang at all. On. Did that work? Yeah, but it's just gonna adjust your field of view. If you're looking at it now. Okay, so. Tilt it, tilt it. Away. Sorry guys, just bear with me a second. You can't set any of this up until it's actually happening, so. All right, is that a little bit better? Yeah, that's better, there you go. Maybe. Madge, hey Madge, how are you darling? Is that? Dale said back the other way. Back the other way. Oh my God, woman, stand on your head. What is the problem? <laughs> Um, okay, hang on. Oh, seriously, technology. What's happening, Jess? Well. Wait, wait, wait. That's better, all right. Okay, <laughs> can everyone see me? Is everybody good? Um, if I stay like this, other than the fact that you can see my boobs and my Guts. That's um, on my screen. Okay. All right, let me just jump on my ladder and zoom in a bit so that I can leave it like that. It's fine. Thanks, Tan. Okay, hang on. All right, I've zoomed up a little bit more. So... All right, cool. Okay. God, this is so much harder than it needs to be. Um, all right, so what I'm going to do today is I wanted to do a quick art journal page and show everyone how to use rice paper sheets in their art journal. There's heaps of these around at the moment and they are just gorgeous. So they are a beautiful... Um, rice paper and they have got beautiful prints on them. Um, Jessica is going to put the link uh, in the comments to them on the website. So most of you know I've got a website that's up and running at the moment. So once you type in um, nataliemay.com.au um, and then up in the search section if you just type in rice you will find the um, items. So Jessica, don't go through that way, please. No. Go through the website. Thank you. So there's a few different ones on the market. I've got um, some Studio Light ones here and some Chow Bella. So 
these are so pretty and really really simple to use um, oh I've got two of those out so this is another one of the studio light ones so they retail between four and five dollars depending on where they're from um, the new art by Marlene ones have come out as well I've got a whole heap on back order still but these are the current ones here so um, how super cute is that and then I love the little houses that you can cut out and stick on and then these are from Chow Bella uh, these are absolutely beautiful and super pretty as well so I'm going to do oh I'll show you how they look um, in the art journal show you what the finished product's going to look like um, this is one of my art journals um, there's all sorts of stuff in here but to give you a bit of an idea this is what one of the pages looks like so what I've got in the background here is my it's just a, a standard art journal page and we've stuck it down and then laid up over the top so it looks like I've done some really cool stuff on it where in actual fact um, I think I've done maybe two additional things on top of the rice paper so that's one and then the other one is in this journal and this is my absolute favorite page it looks so much more complicated than it is but I'm looking at two um, rice paper sheets stuck down um, so that is that side and then I've added a little bit of watercolor over the top as well as some stenciling and some stamping so that's exactly what we're going to be doing today all right so I've got a I'm just gonna clamp that open and clamp that side shut all right so I'm going to use this page today so this is the uh, Janine's mindful art collection uh, a4 rice paper uh, by studio light so to start with I'm going to use gel medium so I've got uh, the Dina Wakely gel medium and uh, I'm just going to use a wide brush to put that on with this is the trick to putting it on um, a wide brush really helps so this is my favorite one to use the other one that'll work really really well uh, is the new Dina Wakely brush I also have and Jess you might want to grab them off the shelf you know the blue handled ones there as well um, these blue handled ones I've got are really cool because they're also awesome for gel medium as well because they've got a really wide bristle I've got two height sizes. and I've got two different sizes and they're the blue ice ones they are an investment brush but they put gel, me whoops, gel medium on absolutely beautiful. So they, um, you'll find those on the website if you just look for brushes. Thank you. All right. So what we want to do is I want to stick that straight down onto that page there. Um, so gel medium, soft gel, matte medium. So gel medium, as we know, is an adhesive and it is fantastic for collaging. So what I want to do is I want to start at the bottom and just put it on probably about well oh, probably about two inches of it and then lay my page out now uh, this particular page is a little bit smaller but I'm going to cover this up at the bottom so what's happened is only that bottom section there has stuck down so now I'm going to go over the top of where I have just gel mediumed and it pushes any bubbles out so it's just like putting contact on school books because um, you know how much fun that was when we were at school said no one ever so you can see that I'm putting it down and then pushing it up to push all the bubbles out so more gel medium Put 
putting it on. All right. Who's watching? Kash is watching. Well, hey there, my pretty girl. How are you doing, Kash? <laughs> Working hard today, I hope. Well, actually, she's probably got it on mute if she's still at work. Um, so how many of you are working from home at the moment? Are we loving that whole trying to get up in the morning, get motivated and start your day thing? Um, I've been loving that. Jessica's, um, I've taken Jessica, Trevor and I have taken Jessica out of school um, to practice some self-isolating uh, keyword of the year um, and we so she is studying all right studying from home so so that is the um, Dina Wakeley soft gel matte medium over the top as well as underneath so what has happened here is I have stuck everything down and then I've gone over the top as well with my brush to seal all the paper so the cool thing about it is is by sealing all this beautiful rice paper what's happening is it's making the surface all the same texture so now I can put anything I like over the top um, you can see that I'm polishing with my fingers so polishing it with my fingers is actually just going to dry it off a little bit quicker as well um, and take off any brush strokes so I'm not working too much into it. I'm just making it happen like so. Um, okay, don't forget with your, if you're using gel medium, it is going to dry on your brush and go absolutely gross. Um, so you need to wash your brush straight away. Um, Jessica, that one's for you. Thank you very much. Um, the next thing we need to do is dry this off. So got the heat gun going so just chat amongst yourselves for a minute but it does need to be completely and totally dry before we can add the next bit so I love that these rice papers work really really well on cards art journals scrapbook pages mini albums and they are really really easy to use all right, so just drying that off. So what I'm going to be doing next is I'm going to be adding a little bit more tissue paper over the top. So I've got an off cut here of some Tim Holtz tissue that um, I had flo floating around. So I can add a little bit more interest to it if I like. And would you believe, Jessica, I need that brush back. Don't worry about it, I'll get another one. I've already one. got it there. Did you dry it? I dried it. Like, totally dried it. Wow, you'll make a great apprentice. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to take a little bit of this script here and put it across the bottom just to cover up some of that um, some of that barcode. So, in fact, I'm just going to use my finger instead. <laughs> what are you, are you filming me? No, okay. You're Snapchatting me. No. You are? I was, but I deleted it. Oh, you are. Yeah, see, there you go. All right, so a um, little bit of strips of tissue across here with the same gel medium um, adds a little bit more interest. And I'm just taking a little bit out of here. Can you go and shut that screen door, please, Jessica? Mm -hmm. All right. So yeah, the, the whole self-isolating thing is going really well. I'm actually quite enjoying, I'm missing everyone, I have to say, but I am enjoying having some um, time where I don't have to get dressed, put pants on. I haven't wanted to kill her yet. Jessica and I are still talking to each other, um, which is great. I don't know how long it'll last, but... This is day four. This is day four. <laughs> And she's just been notified by the school that Seaview, da uh, Seaview High School are uh, not taking students for term two, which means that she will be working home, working from home for all of term two. So there's a fairly good chance that we will <laughs> kill each other between now and then, but you know, that's okay. But I also have an assistant which could also work really well. So I'm just adding a little bit of texture to the bottom with that um, print paper and I'm going to stick a bit more 
through the middle and I'm just gonna go there like so I don't want to cover up those words which are kind of um, perfect at the moment it's time to be kind to yourself yeah I'm kind of thinking it is actually um, we could also we could all do with a little bit of being kind to ourselves at the moment all right so that's a way put the lid on that and dry that off so I could add anything over the top of this tissue paper um, this is the of course the Tim Holtz um, tissue paper that I'm using and I could have used dress patterns I could have used some pattern paper some book paper anything would work to give it just a little bit more interest Vicky. all right who's that grandma Vicky <laughs> Vicky my lovely lovely friend Vicky has just tuned into watching hey Vicky did a little FaceTime with Vicky earlier today with the puppies with our beautiful puppy dogs which I don't even know where they are I'm assuming Inside. they're sunning themselves or chewing yeah. on a shoe somewhere no Macy doubt was laying in the sun Messi was laying in the sun. Excellent. So, all right. So that is almost, almost dry. All right, I get the gel medium out from under my fingernails. Who else is watching? Jenny, Jessica's driving instructor. You rock. Um, Karen, Melissa, Ruth. Hello, ladies. All right. Robin. So while that is just cooling down, um, I'm going to use Lindy's Gang Magicals to enhance all of these colours and add a little bit of colour to the background as well as some um, stamping and uh, with some black archival ink as well. So I think before I do anything, I might actually add the stamping elements. So I'm going to be using the new Mandela Tapestry stamps from Studio Light Art by Marlene. Um, Jessica will put the link in the um, comments. So what I love about this particular set is that you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine stamps in there for, I don't even know how much they are. My lovely assistant will be able to help me out with that in a minute. Um, Use the code. Use the force, Luke. All right, so what I want to do is I just want to put a couple of beautiful little images into the side here. And, um, and I'm going to use this one here. So I'm using black archival ink because black archival ink, of course, is water resistant. Um, black archival ink is my absolute go-to it is my favorite to use um, I currently have these jumbo ink pads in stock normally they come in a small size which is that is the most common size um, which will work perfectly fine what I like about the big size is I can find it on my desk um, but we have to use a waterproof ink because we're going to be adding um, water to the project so before I do anything the very first thing I want to do because it's the first time that I've used the stamp I want to test it and make sure that it works nicely nice even pressure the stamps $18 this Jessica has just said that the stamp is $18 is that all mm -hmm. seriously I'm obviously not charging enough um, <laughs> um, so what I want to do is add a little bit of this image now I don't want to add too much um, and I'm gonna pop a little bit here and yeah and Jessica's gonna link up the um, the ink pad and I'm gonna pop it down here and I'm also want to put it over here um, but of course my blocks not going to do that so I'm going to take it off and mask off this side so that I don't um, dirty up the other side of my um, art journal page. And then I'm going to effortlessly, effortlessly 
that's a good word. Mm. Manoeuvre that to sit here. Did that work? Yeah. What's that say, Vicky? This is the one I have. Don't read it out, don't read it out. <laughs> Everyone's there. <laughs> oh, okay. We'll do that, but you have to change the website. Okay, there we go. So that's gone on there quite nicely. Um, so what you'll notice as well is I've got three elements. So um, it's all about balance. So inking, uh, stamping done. Um, anyone who knows me knows I'm too lazy to clean my stamps. So I just off stamp until they become nice and clean. And the next thing we're going to do, and I'll actually put it away. Oh my god! That is such a beautiful print too, yeah. by the way. I really like that. Um, so the next one I'm going to add on to it as well is I've just got a script stamp um, I've actually just ordered a whole heap of script stamps. They should be in hopefully by this time next week so um, If you don't have a good French script stamp or script stamp, I highly recommend investing in one I love that you can just pop a nice little background on like that so what I want to do is build on this script that we added here and down the bottom here. So I'm not going to put it on an acrylic block. I'm just going to use it like that. And I'm going to build on it like so. I don't want any um, sharp edges. So I like that it's just given me that beautiful print scripts all the way around like that did you take Vicky's all off the shelf? no because I'll wait for her to put it through oh okay well, she all righty so. so there we go so that has a building I'm building on this tissue paper here and creating a little bit of interest around this stamp in this area here all right let's talk magicals so I'm going to be using the Lindy's Gang Magical Shakers. And I'm just going to pop this aside for a second. And get out the colours that I'm going to use. So I have chosen a range of colours here that are going to work nicely with my um, art journal page. So I've got Guten Tag Teal, Cathedral Pines Green, Time Travel Teal, Bratwurst Brown, Glycerin Gold and Afternoon Delight Denim. So before I do anything at all, I always make sure that I know what I'm working with. So I'm going to use my, um, my glass mat here as my palette so that I can have a bit of a play with the colours. Um, so for those of you who don't know much about the Lindy's Gang Magicals, the Magical Shakers are a pigment dye-based powder, which means that they are, the pigment means that they are full of colour, the dye means that they are permanent, and the powder means that we need to activate them. So the shakers have got a scoopy side, and I'm just going to come up there, the scoopy side that we are not using today, I'm going to use the shaker side. Um, and I'm just going to be activated, activating them with a little bit of water. Hey, Michelle, how's New Zealand? Um, I see that you guys are still in lockdown. Oh, and the lovely Lisa Oxley. How are you, darling? Um, so, and I've got this one here is Bavarian, uh, sorry, Bratwurst Brown, which is one of my favourites. So before I do anything, I always like to make sure that the colours that I'm working with are going to be nice. So I've got a paintbrush. The glittering gold is a really, really light gold colour. In fact, it probably won't even show up on camera, which is fine. The Bratwurst Brown. It's really, really pretty. So the idea with the Magicals is the more water you add, the lighter they become. So you've got a full control over, over the colour. Oh, I love that colour. Yeah, no, you've got full control over the colour that you put down. So I can add more powder to it if I want to. 
um, to make it a stronger or I can color it if I want to or I can add more water to it to make it lighter. So they're the colors that I'm going to be using. Um, clearly these two are my favorite, so uh, you, they're the colors I use all of the time. Um, so these retail for $8 each and um, there is 25 colors I think in the collection. So. Um, link, Jessica has already linked those up. Um, and I will hopefully be soon doing a another live Facebook, um, just showing people how to use those. What? Nothing. Don't laugh at me, dude. I'm laughing at you. Um, okay, so I've had a bit of a play. I know that these are the colours that I want to use. And I'm just going to leave these little um, swatches made up here. And now I'm going to start working on adding those colours to... My background so what I want to do is I want to enhance my flowers so I'm going to use some of the blue and some of the teals to enhance my flowers before I start it's probably a good idea to have some paper towel handy um, all right so I can just get it on there and and make it look like I have hand painted some of these colors so I'm just going over the images that are already there. And if you go in too dark, like I just did then, it's okay because there's a gel medium base to it, it's just sitting on top and it hasn't dried. So it's just gonna sit nicely on top there. And you can wipe it off if you need to. Um, yeah, so I was saying before, Jess is in um, her school next term, no more Year 11 at Seaview for Jessica. So she will be working from home. Um, has anybody else got their kids working from home yet? I don't know what other schools. South Australia is, has kind of locked down the little kidlets um, fairly well, which is, which is great. Um, what's that say? Tina, you're sorry, you've missed the most of it. Oh, that's all right, Tina. You can actually go back once I've finished and you'll be able to um, you'll be able to watch it anytime. It'll be on my permanently on my Facebook feed. So Alright, so you can see what I'm doing. I'm just taking these flowers here and I'm just enhancing them a little bit and making it look like, you know, I've I've painted them rather than they're printed on the paper. So I'm just giving them a bit of a shimmer. So and that is the other thing with the Lindy's Magicals is they all have a lovely shimmer to them and because they're permanent they are not going to reactivate if I tip my glass of wine over it mind you it is a little bit early is it too early for day drinking no no of course not. <laughs> never too early for day drinking <laughs> I love how I answered that as yeah well. I know with well, a 16 year old answers that probably oh shit probably not ideal um okay so as you can see I just put a whole heap of powder on there. So instead of activating all of it, I'm just gonna pull it to the side and only activate what I need. Otherwise, it's gonna be way too dark. Um, sorry for the swearing. Okay. Wait, you swear? Hmm? Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, I did. Okay, so enhancing these flowers and it's just super easy <laughs> to you got another person agreeing. It's never too early. <laughs> Thanks, Tina. Um, yeah, okay. So, so yeah, so schools are in lockdown, um, I guess, coming up here in South Australia as of next week. It's um, Australia, well, South Australia wide, pupil free from Monday. Is that right? Well, our school is going pupil free unless necessary. Pupil free this unless week. necessary this week. So, that's not too bad. And then next week's pupil free. Um, and then after that's a normal. Like cool. no one. Um, Alright, so I'm going to add a little bit of green to my... A bit more green to my leaves. So I just want to give this a bit of a shimmer over the top. With your finger. Get in there. Don't overthink it. What are you laughing at me for, dude? I'm not laughing at you. Yeah, you are. Uh-huh. 
All You're right. lucky you like that. So what I want to do is now just start to incorporate some of these colours into my background a bit. So I can pretty much build on anything I like here. Because it's got quite a light muted green background, it won't matter if I get in and start creating my own colours in the background. So I want to use some of this beautiful brown as well. And it's a real pink based brown too. So putting the pink based brown up here with, I need a, um, a bigger paintbrush. And I've grabbed, make sure that I've grabbed that color before it's soaked right in. All right. So all the colors that I've chosen are gonna work nicely in to this page. Annie Lou! Who's watching? Annie Louise. Annie Lou. Hello, Annie Louise. All right, so you can see how easy it is to start building your own background and start working on turning it into something that you've created. Excuse me a moment. <coughs> All right. So I put a bit of brown up and around the flowers here and I'm going to add a bit more green to it as well. Add a bit of colour to my edges. Um, I'm going to add some extra colour to my mandala stamps. Um, I think I might introduce a new colour. What new colour am I going to introduce? Queensland viewer. I might bring in some Alpine Ice Rose. So this is a really pretty um, pale pink. And this is what I like about these lovely glass mats is you can just wipe that straight off. Oh, baby wipe. What's that? I open stock at the moment. No. All right. So, Alpine Ice Rose is a really pretty, lovely, light pink. A bit more of a coral sort of colour. So, this will give this project a little bit of a pop. Now, that looks super duper dark. That's because it is super duper dark. So, to lighten it up, I've just got a um, clean brush. And because the colour is sitting on top of the gel medium background... I can lighten it up and take a little off it. Do the same thing down here. Jessica, I'm assuming you were just Snapchatting the heck out of that. Yeah. Is that all you're doing? Mm. Thanks. All right. So giving those a little bit of pop of colour. And now I'm going to add some... Grab a guy gold, fluff that up. All right, so the gold is gonna give it a little bit of a sh shimmer as well and add a bit of a contrast to that background. So you can see how easy the Lindy's Magicals, the powders are just going to activate and you then have full, contr full control over the color that's going to go on your project. So like I said before, so they are a pigment dye based powder um, and the pigment means that they're full of colour. The dye means that they are permanent and the powder means that you have to activate it. Nothing difficult about it. You can mix them with anything. You can use water with them to activate them. You can mix them with texture paste. You can mix them with white paint. You can... Mix them with um, hand sanitizer, which clearly everybody has got ample of at the moment, um, to make like a um, alcohol ink. Um, I like using the hand sanitizer because then it dissolves the the color first. Um, now this here is super bright. I don't really want that that bright. So what I'm going to do is while it's still wet, put a piece of paper towel over the top. And it's just going to lighten it up a bit. And I'll do the same with the bottom because that was a little bit too full on for my liking. Um, and that's all done. 
All right. So that has almost dried as well. So um, what I'm going to do next is use some Distress Oxides and a Stencil Girl stencil to add a little colour as well with stenciling. Um, I'll just shove all of those magicals out of the way for the moment so I can put this back here so I'm keeping the um, the script going so I've got the script in the background with my tissue paper there was a little bit of the script on the original rice paper as well I've added a script stamp and now I'm going to be using the stencil girl uh, script as well in the stencil and distress oxides to add some more interest to it um, I'm using one of the Paper Rose uh, blending brushes. Absolutely love these. I've got some on order, so I'll have to chase that up. Um, what I like about them is they're super smooth and easy to use. You can also order them online um, direct through Paper Rose as well. So they are a fantastic product. What I want to do is I want to add some stenciling in and around here. Because these flowers at the moment are just floating, um, I want to connect them all up a bit to something. So I'm really, before I start, and I'm really not too sure how this colour's going to look, first thing, test it on a piece of paper. So Distress Oxides, I love that they are super duper creamy, really, really easy to put on as well. Um, they just go on gorgeous. So that is using Chipped, sash, chipped Sapphire. And now I've got, um, what's that one? Black Soot. So I'm going to use both of them. So to give you a bit of an idea how they look, they just give you that awesome shadow there. So I want to pop some of that across here. And I don't want it to be that blue. So I'm probably going to head towards using more black. Um, and I might even get the uh, peacock colour out of it. Actually, Jess, could you grab that for me? Go and find the Distress Oxides in the pantry. And um, I want the peacock, peacock feathers down the bottom, bottom shelf, shelves. That's the one. Good girl. The blue wasn't quite right. It was a bit too, um, a bit too denim looking. Where I really need something a little bit more aqua. So, thank you. All right. So I've gone for peacock feathers. Um, how do I clean my brush? I'm just going to clean my brush on a wet baby wipe. Um, Cleaning it on a wet baby wipe keeps the brush nice and moist. It picks up the um, the colour just as well off of here. Line that up. Hey, that's a bit better. Oh, and I should have tested it, but I didn't. Um, all right. So just a little bit of stenciling in and around. Beautiful. And I'm just going to move the stencil so that... See, I've got it coming up there, but it's it's quite a wide script and I want to bring it a little bit closer. So I'm going to move it a little and run it to the side. So the brush makes it really, really easy to spread the colour on. Um, there we go. And I'm going to pop a little bit down on this side as well, which goes over the top of my leaves. Can't see it. Add some black. Okay. Alrighty. And a bit more up this end. Right up there. Alright. Done. So a little bit of stenciling coming in through the middle with Distress Oxides and the Paper Rose Blending Brush. Um, Alrighty. So next... What was I going to do next? Oh, add some gold. Okay. Glittering gold. What I want to do is add some of this really, really nice glittery gold. I want to give it a bit of a shimmer. Um, so I'm just going to grab a palette out of my drawer and make up a little wash of gold. So um, I'm using the big hole and tapping it into there so the glitter and gold is really pretty because it, it with the border's not that blue 
because it adds a really like, okay it is a bit blue <laughs> but it adds that really really pretty shimmer to it you can see how gorgeous that is all right so like i was saying about the lindy's magicals from here i can decide how much or how strong i want it to be um you can see can everyone see how pretty that shimmer is so i can add more to it oops or a lot to it i still need to mix it all together to activate it beautiful all right so my art journal page is coming along quite nicely um what i want to do is put my glasses on um add a little bit of a shimmer with this gold in and around my page so i'm now going over the top of some of the green from where i was working before in my background and i don't want to go over my stenciling too much otherwise it's going to activate the oxides which isn't the look that i'm after and I'll spread that out with my fingers put a little shimmer in the middle of my mandala 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 um so for those of you who have just tuned in the stamp set that i have used over the top of my rice paper is the art by marlene super pretty oh here we go thank you super pretty um stamp so i do like that they're only about 18 bucks on my website um and we are building our rice paper and turning it into our own little piece of artwork all right so i'm just now going to give it a bit of a splatter so everyone knows how i love a good splatter anyone who used to be a smoker um would is going to be awesome at this it's a smoker's tap so it's just taking a loaded brush of color so sorry i didn't realize that was off screen there but juicy loaded brush of color and then you're just going to flick on the color so i'm actually just flicking up through this area here okay so i'm going to dry that off with the heat gun <sighs> And I have nearly finished creating a super easy art journal page. Um, I don't think it's taken very long. What time is it? 40 minutes. 40 minutes. Okay, so um, the cool thing about the, the rice papers, like I said, is your print's already there. So all you need to do is use some really good quality um, gel medium to stick it down and make sure that when you're putting your gel medium on as an adhesive that you're also going to be going over the top of it as well so that you are making that surface the same so then you can add watercolor to it so you i could have easily done this with watercolors um or or any of the um the lindy's powders um, but i've decided to go with the shakers and now I can just trim off all of my excess little bits and pieces and and that is a quick and easy art journal page created from snip 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 created from the studio light and Chow Bella and art by Marlene papers actually you know what I want to do I want to add some pink splatters That'd work okay pink splatters for a bit more balance all right so same thing I've just got a pipette of water and making up a wash so for those of you who don't know um, we this year uh, amongst all of the drama um, my sister and I have relaunched my website. So everything that um, I have in my little shop here in Adelaide is now all accessible to you guys on my website. Um, I have, I'm still shipping at the moment. So I'm still going to the post office 
every day. Um, I have an express post option and um, a standard snail, net, snail mail post option available as well. Postage is $12.50. Um, doesn't matter how much you order uh, and it's relatively simple sort of process as well. Um, I also have a pickup option for those of you in Adelaide, front doorstep pickup. The studio is currently closed and um, I won't be, um, won't be having it open um, at the time, um, for the time being, just until everything kind of calms down a bit. But the website, um, I also have a whole heap of kits available as well. They are proving to be really, really popular. So give you a bit of a, um, a bit of a sneak peek of something that I'm working on, hopefully to be released in the next day or so. Um, I've got, this is a part of a three layout kit and I think there's even enough materials left to do some cards. So that beautiful Minte paper, um, I'm working on that. So, um, oh, don't show them everything. Um, <laughs> so there's um, that kit's available. I have currently sitting on my table as well a um, a whole heap of a stack of paper to to make up to make up some more kits. So there's plenty of stuff happening um, online, and you can always give me a buzz if there's something in particular that you are after. Um, so what we use today is these beautiful. Rice papers from Studio Light and Art by Marlene and how to incorporate them and turn them into your own. So you will find them on the website. Um, you are, you'll find them on the website under, just type in rice in the search, um, search bar. So they are just gorgeous. That's really pretty. There's another one there with some beautiful flowers. And then these for the Arty Farty Art Journal Girls where you can cut these out and colour them yourself. Um, this one, you probably wouldn't need much to do much to it. it. It A lot of the work's done for you. Absolutely beautiful. Um, something that's a little bit more masculine. I really, really loved this one. Um, and finally, never underestimate the power of small steps. So um, so these just incorporate beautifully into your art journals um, and are really, really easy to use. So when I use them in the past, uh, like I said before, where is that art journal page? Here we go. Um, this one is, I've got watercolor over the top and I don't know if you can see, but there's a real lovely, pretty shimmer to that one as well which is in the gold Ganzai Tambi watercolour paints so um, Hi Jenny! <laughs> um, so yeah you can easily do a lovely quick art journal page with not a whole lot of effort involved so thank you very much to everyone for um, tuning in um, head over to my website Keep a girl in a business. Um, it's, as you all know, tough times for everybody at the moment. Um, and we are, we are all doing our best to support each other and our small businesses. So, um, and I do certainly appreciate all of the, all the help and assistance that you girls have been giving to me. Um, the rose rice paper is in stock. If you just go onto the website and search in rice paper, you which should one's that one? It. This this big pink rose one. Maybe which one? Do we have that one? one? You oh, got that, not that one. <laughs> you've gone and promised something that you don't even know if it's on the shelf. I go and have a look. Paper. Have a look and see what's on on uh, online, Lynn. There's um, very it's very possibly. I know I've got a ballerina one in in stock as well. Uh, so yeah, have a bit of a squeeze and see what you can find. Um, so other than that, I hope you're all doing really, really well. Uh, stay sane and chat to you all really. Oh, hang on. No, hang on. Jessica has just said that the, it's called spring calling Lynn and, um, yes, it is in stock. So yeah, hope you're all staying safe. Wash your hands, stay at home. And um, thank you very much for tuning in and watching today. Bye. Now I need to stop it.